Hello everyone, this is the mind at right, welcome to episode 3 of post poetry where we take a closer look at the poem Poison. Before I go into specifics, I would like to read to you the thoughts, well the final few thoughts or words that I wrote before, well before the poem came into existence. Enough. What is enough is enough. Fucking ridiculous. A shame. Goddamn shame. Okay. Stop being so childish. Move along. Distance yourself from the mind virus. Don't become trapped by your own accord. Don't clip your own wing. Stay away. Analyze. Think for yourself. The automaton is also you. You're parroting as well. Your mind has been corrupted, your soul twisted, your body poisoned. Start removing the rot, write it out. Stop criticizing yourself and tell it as you see it. There is a modicum of knowledge that you can now apply to your discourse. A tiny amount of reason. A tiny amount of reason on the gangrened wound. Very delightful, isn't it? Okay, poison. As always, I won't go over everything in super details take a lot of time <clears throat> instead I just talk about general general ideas behind the poem po poison for me the poem is about my willingness to accept the seeming insanity of the world we inhabit and not only that it's also a way of expressing that uh, this insanity is is happening because of me as well it's it's an admission of guilt in a way but it goes a bit beyond that because i think it's also a reflection reflection on how I, how we allow certain things to uh, degenerate to a point where, where it no longer makes sense, where nothing seems to make sense. Right. Now, by by degenerating to a point where nothing seems to make sense or by being poisoned and allowing the insanity I am not talking about a specific thing per se it's more of a generalized attitude towards 
what is deemed what is deemed normal I think that it it's I think everyone should look within and find a way to find a way to delve into the abyss <laughs> of your own abyss, your own darkness, your own flaws stare down the bottomless pit recognize your own reflection in the eyes of the beast Bottom is pit, the abyss. There's the Nietzsche quote. If you stare long enough into the abyss, the abyss also stares into you. I paraphrased it and I might have gotten it wrong. <clears throat> go, go as deep as you can into your own faults and flaws and insecurities and Allow yourself to be afraid, be vulnerable, be be things that you were weren't before. <clears throat> and then once you get to the lowest of lows, you should open your eyes and see what's going on or see what's going on around you. You shouldn't be afraid of the things that you might find. And then once all of this happens, you can come back to being yourself and look at things in perspective. But while doing this, you allow yourself to be poisoned poisoned and uh, it's, it's almost like a trap you go into the abyss you come back and you think you know what's actually happening and You, you, you kind of don't Presu presuming knowledge is is a fool's errand it's a fool's mistake yeah right so you come back you see you now see clearly you don't actually and even now once your vision is clear you shouldn't run from the seven things that uh, are in front of you so to speak seven concepts ideas that led you to being poisoned. One thing I would like to mention here is uh, this line. It's it's the machine and the matriarch for created by our own insanity uh, the machine will probably get a post poetry special 
because it's a concept slash metaphor slash idea that I, I mention a lot in my poems either way you see all these things happening around you you know that your view you, you're poisoned because of the because of diving into the abyss you come back you think everything is good but then you should take a closer look at the new way you view things and once you do that you, you will start recognizing that uh, everything you see or hear is essentially what you just is essentially is it is is essentially the same as it's essentially the same as your previous encounter with the abyss or your own poison self and all these monstrosities and fears are still there and you haven't actually escaped the, the chaos somewhere deep down we float in a state of limbo paralyzed locked in place by its gaze drinking the poison willingly yeah it's pretty self-explanatory I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if your thoughts on reading a poem were similar to mine or not. And have a good day. See you around.